Today on Inside, I'm with Dr. Ron Cohen, an orthodontist here in the Fort Wayne and Cherbusco area. So let's talk about orthodontists and dentists. Are they the same thing? Right. Um, you have to be a dentist to be an orthodontist. Um, uh, you have to go through dental school first. Um, okay. Orthodontics is an additional two-year program that gives you the standing as a specialist okay. to do things. Uh, what... Um, the whole Invisalign, that kind of, because dentists are doing Invisalign too, yes? Yes. So um, what's, that kind of blurs the line, <coughs> distinguish for me. When, um, uh, when Invisalign first came out um, in 1999, I was one of the first 25 trained. And originally they had decided that they were going to have orthodontists only do Invisalign okay. because as orthodontists we're trained to know how teeth move and mm -hmm. all the intricacies of, of the biomechanics and, and all the other stuff involved with it. Um, as, um, uh, as it evolved, uh, it became pretty apparent to Invisalign that just having orthodontists do it was not going to be a big enough market. Um, so after a couple years, um, it became open to uh, general dentists also to be able to, to, to utilize um, uh, Invisalign. Uh, Invisalign itself um, is a not quite of an exacting type way of moving teeth. Um, when you have plastic trays that do not really hold perfectly onto the sure. teeth, you kind of get things in the ballpark, but you really don't get the kind of precision that you can get with fixed appliances that most orthodontists use. Why should someone who, and maybe they're an adult, um, who maybe had braces years ago mm -hmm. and teeth have moved a little bit because they don't wear those retainers anymore, whatever the case may be, or maybe it's a child who needs just a little help, why should they come to an orthodontist rather than just their dentist? For, uh, for, for some of the minor movements, um, it really sometimes makes sense to have your dentist take care of things. Um, uh, as I said, with Invisalign <coughs> and other types of, uh, of appliances, uh, some of the simpler movements can be done just as well by dentists as they can by, be by orthodontists. Uh, but there are a, a number of cases that are very um, intricate with the amount of movement that you have to do with teeth. You have to integrate it with facial growth and development, mm -hmm. and if you really don't have the kind of background that, um, that, that most orthodontists do with the extra training they have, then sometimes you, you don't quite get the, the, the complete treatment regimen. Um, what about, let's talk about in the, which you said a little bit about the schooling, that mm -hmm. you go a few more years for the orthodontics. Talk about the um, continued training then that you do. Um, after schooling? Yes. Um, all of us um, uh, here in the state of Indiana um, have a, a small amount of continuing education we have to do um, each year. Um, you know, 10 hours a year, 20 hours every two years is really a, a drop in the bucket um, as far Compared as... Compared to all that regular school oh, exactly, you went exactly, to, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, 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 um, uh, and some, well, most of it is, 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 is appropriate, some of it is kind of a waste of time as, as all continuing education things are at, at some times. But um, it, it's very important to stay up on current developments. Yeah. Um, things are changing so rapidly with the advent of everything that we have uh, technologically with the use of computers. Um, you know, it's been well documented that things that used to take 50 years to change now take four or five years to change. And if you're not staying up with the changes, very quickly you fall behind in what's available to, to do for any type of medical treatment. And that's something that you really focus on in your practice is the using technology yes. to make the process better, easier, quicker, all of the above. Yeah, all, all of the above and, and actually really more predictable um, than, than anything. Um, orthodontics is, is, has long been an art. Um, there were a lot of things that we did that were uh, educated guesses as mm -hmm. far as moving teeth and positioning them. Uh, but now with all the technology we have, we can be a lot more exacting, a lot more precise, and a lot more predictable with the things that we do because we have the ability to use a computer to, to, f as our guide. Those computers, they come in handy every now and then. Yeah, until they don't work, yeah. <laughs> 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 then we say, what? why did we ever start using these? Right. If you have an uh, issue with your teeth, your children's teeth, or just think you want to get a consultation and find out if orthodontics is for you, you can uh, call Dr. Cohen's office today. They have offices in Fort Wayne or Cherubusco, or check out their website, jockronsmiles.com. Thank you.